Hi guys, welcome to this very very quick video about the Hewing Ranger. Now there's tons of reviews out there and everyone who says that the plane is absolutely amazing is right. This is literally one of the best planes I have ever purchased in my life so far. For FPV, for cruising around, even for learning pilots, this is a very nice little plane. Not only because it's built from probably the most durable foam that I've ever seen in my life, but also because it flies great. Um, but there are some secrets which I think some of you may not know. And they're not really well covered in any video. And as most people's primary source is just to YouTube something nowadays rather than to just Google it or see anything on any RC forums or whatever, I think a video is overdue. Now, let me just turn off the lights and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So first of all, not only do we get two different colors on each of the wings, but we also have LEDs inside of the motor mounts on each side, on each of the wings. Let's have a closer look, shall we? So, these ESCs are BL Heli S ESCs. Uh, BL Heli S ESCs are relatively easy to buy and most of them are used on drones but this plane has them built into the wings. Let's have a quick look underneath. They look moderately cool, but are definitely useful when flying around at dusk or night. And You know, you can only turn them on or off, and you can only have a few different colors, but still, I think most people don't know. And then all the forums that I had a look at, none of them were posting anything about this. You will find, however, the first tweak that I'm going to show you, um, which is how to get two different colors of LEDs on each of the wings. And it's actually very simple. All you have to really do is you have to put on one side or the other side, you have to put one LED in between. And let's have a look. You can see here, I've left mine right there. It's nice and red. And that is basically LED number one. And that is LED number one. However, when we go into iNav or Betaflight in the LED configurations tab, this will be where you would have your uh, LED number two. Now, of course, Betaflight will probably not be used on a plane like this. You'd most likely be using either ArduPilot or iNav. I don't know how to do this in ArduPilot, but definitely I know how to do it in iNav. So I'll show you how to do that. Um, although there are quite a few videos online and it's really a very, very easy tweak. So let's have a closer look at what we have inside. And essentially there's just one modification. As you can see, I'm using the Maytech 405 WSE. It's a great flight controller, fits perfectly into just right between these two rails. And it's doing a very good job at stabilizing the plane. Has all the functions that you may need with the GPS. So obviously you've got return to home, etc., etc. But, you know, all of that is uh, not important. What you want to know is how to get two different colors on the LEDs, on the wings, and how to get the motor mounts to light up as well. So, step one is you need to build yourself one of these. This is basically uh, just a WS2812 LED. I'll put a link in the description. I got mine from eBay, got delivered instantly. Um, I'm not affiliated with the person, so I, I mean, I'm just, yeah. If you need it, this guy delivers in like 24 hours wherever you are in the UK, so whatever. Um, and all you need is, in addition to that, is this cable, this short little cable that you can see with the yellow and red wire, and that is basically uh, a pre-crimped um, JST-ZH cable. Um, that cable is basically the same that's used on the originals, so all you do is you take that wire, no cutting needed, all you gotta do is sol solder on the connector, but one thing which is definitely important, which you shouldn't miss, is unfortunately the connector is kind of reversed, so you've got the digital, so the white wire, um, that comes from the LED port, going into this LED, it's actually in the middle, whereas on the original, if I just turn this sideways, you can see we've got negative, positive, and signal, or data, going there. 
but what you have to do is you have to lift up these tiny little hooks that are on the connector and then swap them around because actually on the single board LED it's negative signal and positive and the same goes on on the other side except one side is D in or digital in and digital out or data in data out whatever you want to call it it's, it doesn't matter but that's how you get it done and then of course when you're plugging it back into the wing you have to make sure that you're having negative positive and then data or uh, whatever it is it doesn't matter so essentially that's that's the only thing that you have to watch out for um, when you buy these just make sure that you don't mix them up they're not exactly the same but the good news is this doesn't interfere with anything except if you do want to plug the same cable back into here you have to make sure that you don't forget to swap these two but that's it now when it comes to the wings and you want uh, these two additional lights which are in the motor mounts well you do need something called uh, BL Heli um, most of you will be familiar with this because essentially what this is is two 20 amp ESC's um, which have a built-in LED that you can control with the BL Heli suit. Now you have to ma make sure that you don't use the BL Heli 32 because that is for different uh, ESCs. This is just running the BL Heli, the standard BL Heli S uh, bootloader. Uh, Oscar Liang has a very good article on how to do this. So you can either watch this or you can go onto his website. I'll put a link in the description. It's very clear. You've got the download links there as well. And yeah, basically that's it. And then when you do decide to plug in a battery, it will look something like this. So you can see that is LED number one, but because it's continuing on to go to the wing, that becomes LED number two, and that stays LED number one. So I hope you found this useful. Um, the second part of this tutorial will be just a screen recording of how to change the LEDs and what you need to do, but it's very simple and you can just follow the online instructions. So, hope you enjoyed this. Bye.